Liberal Viewer presents. So, when Hadassah Lieberman, the wife of independent U.S. Senator Joseph Lieberman, recently became the target of a campaign by the progressive blog Fire Dog Lake to get her fired from her job working with an anti breast cancer group, the primary reason Fire Dog Lake gave for the request was her status as a former employee of the insurance and pharmaceutical lobbying complex, with the secondary reason being her status as the wife of Senator Joe Lieberman who is pledging to kill health care reform while millions go untreated. And you'll never guess which of these two reasons Fox News left out when Brett Baer reported on the story during the supposed straight news segment on Fox News's primetime news program special report that you can see here. The left's criticism is even extending to Senator Lieberman's wife. Liberal website FireDogLake.com is urging the cancer-fighting group Susan G. Komen for the Cure to fire Hadassah Lieberman as its global ambassador, in part because of her husband's recent comments about health care reform. The organization released a statement calling Mrs. Lieberman a valued ambassador, saying they will continue to work together. Hmm, now, not only did that supposedly straight news story leave out the primary reason that Fire Dog Lake called for the firing of Hadassah Lieberman, which was her work lobbying for drug and insurance companies, and I never heard Hadassah Lieberman's lobbying work ever mentioned any time during my many hours of Fox News watching, but that one-sided news story became the basis for even worse spin in Bill O'Reilly's so-called no-spin zone in the Fox News talking point that not only left out Hadassah Lieberman's lobbying history, but also dishonestly spun the whole thing into a personal attack on Senator Lieberman's family with a gratuitous swipe at NBC that you can see here. The far left is now attacking Lieberman's wife. A vicious website wants her fired as global ambassador for a breast cancer charity, if you can believe it. A personal note here. For 13 years, I have been personally attacked by the far left. They never stop. But I'm on the front lines. There's no excuse for attacking Hadassah Lieberman. It's just sickening. All the woman's trying to do is help people with cancer. Personal attacks have no place in public discourse, period. And attacks on families are unacceptable. Yet you see them all the time on NBC and other media outlets. Disgraceful. Huh, now, Bill O'Reilly not only falsely reframed the complaints against Hadassah Lieberman's conflict of interest as a former drug and insurance company lobbyist into a personal attack against Senator Lieberman's family, but... O'Reilly's outrage at someone attacking a politician's wife seemed pretty hypocritical given what O'Reilly said on the radio about Barack Obama's wife last year that you may recall from my February 2008 video that included this clip. I don't want to go on a lynching party against Michelle Obama unless there's evidence, hard facts, that say this is how the woman really feels. If that's how she really feels, that America's a bad country or a flawed nation, whatever, then that's legit. We'll track it down. Huh, but Bill O'Reilly's hypocrisy, as big a target as it is, is really just a distraction from the real story here, which is that the wife of one of the key senators in the health reform debate has these historical financial ties to the drug and insurance industries, and that's in addition to the more than $1 million Senator Lieberman's taken in campaign contributions from the insurance industry in his career, which is particularly suspicious now, I think, because of the way Senator Lieberman recently flip-flopped on the Medicare buy-in proposal he previously supported at what may have been the most strategic moment for the health insurance industry, but I want to know what you think. Did Fox News leave out an important part of that news story when failing to inform viewers that Hadassah Lieberman is a former employee of the insurance and pharmaceutical lobbying complex? And on the bigger question, why do you think Senator Lieberman recently flip-flopped on the Medicare buy-in proposal he previously supported at what may have been the most strategic moment for the health insurance industry? I, YouTube, you decide.